Move over, tech. Our old pal Energy is topping the market this quarter, but here's the not-so-good news. Apparently, strength in energy could be bad for the macro market. Joining us now tonight from Bespoke Investment Group is co-founder Paul Hickey to explain... Do you have like a cute, you need like a cute logo to exact like an octopus that with eight knives. Like he was wearing a diaper too. I think it was wearing a diaper. I didn't want to say anything about it. But listen, it's an adult, it could be an adult diaper. You know, people have, uh, it, um, we go into China, the world and, and go out of the too, world right? wearing a diaper in a lot of ways. It's fine. Um, why is energy good, bad for the market? So when energy is leading, like you saw in the first few days of this quarter, it's when the other sectors are down, it's not a good situation for the market. What we call it is the three-headed monster of the market. You have energy rising, the dollar rising, and interest rates rising. Those factors in unison, when they're all hitting highs, is a negative signal. We're not at that point at this point, but it's something to be watching for. And think about it. When energy is the only sector, when energy is rallying like it has been, there's a reason for it usually. Right now we're on concerns of uh, tensions in the Middle East. But, but it's also, I will say this, and you're exactly right. We've talked about it a lot. Energy is my thing, as you yeah, might know. Yeah. But I think energy, too, oil is like a, is like a bond proxy also. I think, the, I think the interest rate complex is moving oil. People that may not be involved in oil are moving it as like a proxy for interest rates. Well, and I, honestly, Paul, I don't know who's leading who. Well, now, nowadays, you ever know who's leading who in the market? Some of these panda. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, the energy... Prickly as whole, koala research. As, as, as a whole, the energy sector is a great hedge at this point. It's trading at 12 times earnings, 3% dividend yield. It's got the best breadth of any sector in the market right now. But if, if you are seeing the manufacturing sector start to turn around, the energy sector is a good place to be. You just don't want it to be the leading sector. But you, it, it, it can rise with the overall market, but it can't be the leader and because it's usually a sign of bad things. Well, it is the leader. I think it's the best performing group. So, so far this quarter, but the quarter's only about less than two weeks but it's, old. What about this year? It's got to be close to the top. If it's not number one, it's got to be number two. On the year, no, tech and communication services are, St- are still, still significant. Well, when you say community, I love, <laughs> what I hate about these S&P groups, communication services, it's basically meta Right, Meta and a bunch of names. Maybe Google. Verizon. Google's in there too. What's that? Yeah, Google's so it's Meta and Google, yeah, they're, they're, they're and they're primarily because the cable companies. AT and T and Verizon aren't around. Well, cable companies haven't been, haven't been doing a whole lot. But, um, yeah, so that's fascinating. Does, is there a period of time which it has to go that far before it's like really bad news? You know, I think what what the key to watch is every bull market has a theme. This bull market's theme is AI. And even in they, the AI related stocks in the S and P five hundred have outperformed since the bull market started year to date. But even during this pullback in the market that we've seen, the AI-related stocks are actually, NVIDIA's down 10%, but the other AI-related stocks are down about 1.5% this quarter. The rest of the average stock, the other 467, are down about 3%. So they're holding up. If if you start to see those AI stocks start to underperform a little bit while energy's holding up, that would be a caution sign. 